26 Live at 5, braving the heat. People throughout Northeast Wisconsin are enduring blistering hot temperatures as they celebrate Independence Day. That includes one of the area's biggest events, Green Bay's Fire Over the Fox. All of Northeast Wisconsin is in a heat advisory through Friday, and some areas have excessive heat warnings in effect. Meteorologist Brian Goddard has the latest in this weather alert. It is another scorcher out there with temperatures in the mid 90s and those heat indexes well over 100 degrees here in Green Bay as the humidity is thick. What a July 4th we are having and it is not only hot here but pretty much throughout the, the entire state, especially to the south where they're under excessive heat warnings now. Sheboygan, Fond du Lac, down to Kenosha, all the way back up to La Crosse, Eau Claire and the Twin Cities. 100 degrees today for the first time since 1995 in Madison. Also 100 in Milwaukee. It's 94 here in Green Bay. Sheboygan and 92 in Wausau. It is just sticky everywhere. The only relief, Superior at 70 degrees. We had a few rain showers earlier today, now just a few scattered clouds. We need more cloud cover to kind of block that intense sunlight, but it's not happening. By 7 o'clock will be 91 degrees. It'll be very humid out there for fireworks, 84 by 10. And Stacy by 7 o'clock in the morning, 75. We'll talk about the break in this heat coming up in a few minutes. It is our big story at five. Northeast Wisconsin celebrating America's independence, but not without that extreme heat. Temps soaring into the 90s today with the heat index over 100. But people are dealing with the hot weather to celebrate at Fire Over the Fox. NBC 26's Cassandra Duval is live in the Green Bay newsroom with more. Stacy, no matter what you're doing outside today, it is hot. And anywhere from 80 to 100,000 people are expected to attend tonight's events. But the people who are already down there say they're just trying to stay cool and stay safe. Trying to beat the heat. 16 year old Samantha Shepard works for her dad's lemonade shake up stand. She knows how tough the weather can be. Well, it's air conditioned in here, so that really helps. But others aren't so lucky. If I got any hotter, I'd fry. And that seems to be how a lot of people are feeling who came out earlier today. My little one, I don't know how much he's going to be able to handle, too. So he'll get warm after a while and say, Can we go home? Organizers want people to avoid the heat, but still have a good time. We definitely care about people's safety. Their own personal responsibility is also needed. They've tripled the amount of water at Fire Over the Fox. Find air conditioning, find some shade. And, and make good decisions. Local businesses and the Neville Public Museum are open with air conditioning. There are also splash pads free of charge. A lot of the activities are along the Fox River. We have a nice breeze coming off the Fox River. Thank goodness there's a breeze, otherwise we'd be in big trouble. And we can't forget about the reason to celebrate. Today is about the red, white, and blue. But if you're just too hot, try to find some shade, sit back, and grab a nice cold lemon shake up. And the countdown to the fireworks celebration is underway. We have just about four more hours to go, but there are already lots of things going on down there by the Fox River, if you can brave that heat. Reporting live in the Green Bay Newsroom, Cassandra Duval, NBC 26.